Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look inside the computer case, and in this episode in particular, we're taking a look at the hard drive and where it is and how to replace it. So the hard drive is where all the data is living on your computer system. This is the long-term storage of your data. Unlike the RAM where things live short-term while you're working with them, the hard drive stores things permanently. So even when you shut down the system, it is sitting there on the drive. The drive connects to your system in two ways. Uh, the first way is data. So you have a cable that connects to the motherboard directly and it allows the data to flow back and forth between the hard drive and the other components in the system. There's two different types of data connections. Older ones may have a ribbon-like cable known as IDE. It's a wider and it's thinner. Newer systems may come with something called SATA, and that's Serial ATA. It's a thinner connector, it's more compact, and it is a faster connection. You may actually have both of these connectors on your system, so you may have devices connected via both methods, or you may have it via one or the other, depending on the speed and the uh, age of the components uh, that you're putting in. The other thing that connects the uh, motherboard to the computer is the power cables. Now, these don't connect to the motherboard. They connect directly between the hard drive and the power supply using little power connectors. To remove the drive from the case, you locate it on the case where it is and they should be connected by two or four screws, generally along the side of the drive. Before you do anything else, remove the data cable and the power cable from the hard drive, then start to remove the screws on the hard drive. Now typically a hard drive inside a slot is supported by a piece of metal underneath, but just double check to make sure if it's not, be sure to hold on to it while you're removing the screws. Then once the screws are removed, gently slide it out of place, Make sure that it doesn't uh, hit anything else on the way out. You may have RAM in the way or another card in the way. Uh, you may need to remove those first before you take the drive out. Generally, you can identify the hard drive by the sticker that's located on it. It'll identify the maker. It'll identify the model number. It'll identify the capacity of the drive, typically. And it'll also identify how fast the drive is. 5400 RPM is an older uh, speed for drives. 7200 is newer and faster and it also runs hotter inside the case. To put the new drive into your system, simply slide it into the location of the old drive, put the screws back in, reconnect the cables, and you're done. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series.